So a few months ago, Jinville Coldwin messaged me on Discord and he asked me like, hey John, would you be willing to come over to London for the Google Capture the Flag finals? And I was like, yeah, that sounds awesome and incredible and amazing. So uh, I got in touch with the guys that were kind of putting this together and Google was willing to compensate, hey, flights and lodging, travel, logistics, all that. So it was just awesome and incredible opportunity. And I got to hang out and meet, for one thing, Jinville Coldwin and Live Overflow and Gadget Overflow. And you should check that out. And uh, all the other incredible, cool, crazy, awesome people over there. And it was one awesome trip. So uh, Live Overflow has a video out on his channel to showcase this. Um, I'm going to be posting one very, very soon on the actual Capture the Flag stuff. But because Live Overflow put out his video on the Bletchley Park, wow, that's a tongue twister. So I'm uploading my video for the Bletchley Park trip and travel too. Here we go. Roll the clip. So I was flying from the United States and I tried to make sure that everything was lined up with a decent amount of time to be able to get to things, account for things in case the flight is delayed, in case we need to wait for our bags. But turns out our flight was literally canceled the day of. So uh, that was a little bit of a scramble. Uh, we were able to get on a earlier flights and I'm actually very very grateful our friends uh, Caleb you know him well from other videos he was willing to take uh, the kind of work job rotation that my girlfriend Caitlin was on because she had to work for kind of our flight but when we needed to leave earlier Caleb was able to pick that up and I'm grateful for that kind of goes to show how how great our friends are and Google was willing to let me bring a plus one Caitlin so I'm very grateful for that thank you so when we finally got into London, we were meeting up with all of the Google Vulnerability Reward Program researchers, or kind of Google's bug bounty. And it was really cool to get to know them, kind of understand them, their personalities, what they're interested in, what they like to do, how they do what they do, etc. So kind of as a treat for all of us that were able to come in early, Google was willing to send us to Bletchley Park, which is a, an awesome place in London. If you don't know where the code breakers were working on breaking the code of the Enigma machine for World War II. So this event was called Google Escalate, and it was really three events in one, right? Uh, there was the Google Capture the Flag finals, which myself and Live Overflow were there to kind of record and get some press. There was also the Google Vulnerability Rewards Program, their bug bounties kind of getting together, talking about their latest hacks and discoveries within Google products. And there was a student event that were actually just training and teaching some cool programming and hacking. So when we were out doing our thing, uh, our leader Haley, who was kind of the organizer for all the different events and things we were going to do, uh, she was trying to herd cats early between all of us so she would hold up uh this little guy uh we affectionately refer to it as the lollipop and i'm really pretty happy i swiped it <laughs> So this was the first time I ever got to meet Live Overflow in person, which was incredible and awesome. He's a great guy and honestly hilarious between all the stuff he was doing and we were doing together. And it was just kind of cool to get some, I don't know, stupid YouTube internet hackers together. I liked it. It was fun. So meta. We weren't going to meet Jinvale until the next day when the Capture the Flag competition really got started, uh, but we were able to hang out and enjoy Bletchley Park and see some really cool stuff around there. I saw this little thing that looked like Base 64, like and I'm like, what? No, is that is that is that actually Base 64? And uh, I got close to it. It turned out to be this cool little hologram thing, and it would uh, transform <laughs> the text or encoded or decoded representation of the message. And it was oh, English so that it was decoding as, and I thought like, oh, okay. It's not real Base 64. I don't think that's the actual translation. I don't know. You should try and figure it out. One of the things that was uh, kind of funny, and I guess cool in, a, in an interesting way, when Live and I got invited to be, I don't know, kind of like little media people to record and kind of capture, document some of the stuff that was going on for the Capture the Flag event. And it was funny because like, I'm out there like recording with my phone and <laughs> Live Overflow has this awesome setup and camera. It's like, man, I, I need to invest in some gear. I'm out here a little scrub with a iPhone. <laughs> So this video is admittedly kind of a teaser for the bigger Capture the Flag video that's going to be coming very, very soon. Uh, looking back on this, I realized I don't have a whole lot of footage from our time at Bletchley Park because we were exploring kind of, I don't know, seeing the sights and just enjoying the time there and meeting all these incredible and awesome people. So very, very soon, both myself and Live Overflow will probably be showcasing some footage and videos from the Google Capture the Flag, um, but it was an awesome opportunity and a very, very cool experience. So thank you guys. Thank you, Google. Thank you, ultimately you, you, the audience, you, you, for making, I don't know, all of this kind of a reality and a success and, and such, I don't know, a prosperous endeavor. Prosperous? Is that a, is that the word that I want?
I think it is. I don't know. Oh, prosperous means flourishing financially. No, that's not it. <laughs> that's not. 